Hello, I'm Storm Tracker 18 Weather Chief Meteorologist Matt Schaefer. We get so many pictures sent in to us and we're grateful to all of our viewers that do so. This one from Tina overlooking the Pablo Center with a great lightning strike on the morning of August 24th. Uh, but we got a lot more pictures from the same day of a storm cloud that looks like this. It is a shelf cloud and a lot of people called it a wall cloud and I completely understand why because I mean look at it. It looks like a giant wall in the sky. It is absolutely huge. This picture over Arkansas from Jalen. We appreciate that. Another view of this again very large cloud feature. Uh, it tends to signify straight line wind gusts. What happens is is you have warm moist air rising up ahead of the storm and then down into the storm of course there's some heavy rain that cools the air and that cold air is being pushed out ahead of it so that warm air ends up rising kind of right on top of it and right at that border this kind of slope surface forms and that's why we call it a shelf cloud because it's kind of got some space on top of the cloud beneath the higher storm clouds where you think you could put something on it but not so much so uh, because of its slope, but that's why we call it a shelf cloud. Another view of these features, again, makes it look like a big wall. And again, the big difference between a shelf cloud and a wall cloud is shelf clouds are larger, which doesn't make sense because if we think of a shelf or a wall in our homes, well, the wall is bigger than the shelf, and that's not the case with clouds. So it makes sense that a lot of people are confused by this, but shelf clouds are a lot more common because they are larger and they last longer. This shows how large it is. This is a panoramic view. You can look all the way that way and it's still going and all the way this way and it's still going from this extreme panoramic view near uh, Elk Mound. Thanks Will for this picture. But this is a wall cloud and I'm talking about this little feature right here. I took this picture shortly after I moved to Eau Claire with the storm uh, that uh, moved towards our studio. You can see heavy rain on this side of the screen and what happens is that creates cool air and in this type of storm it's the updrafts and the downdrafts of the storm are separated. So the rain cooled air over here starts to get pulled back up where the air is rising and notice there's no rain even behind this and that creates the cloud to form a little bit lower. This is actually the type of cloud to look out for for a tornado to form, but first off this wall cloud would have to be rotating. This particular one was not. We still reported that to the National Weather Service. The other thing is while the vast majority, over 90% of tornadoes form underneath one of these, very few of these produce tornadoes. So it's not necessarily a direct correlation, but we know this is where they would form if they would, and this one certainly did not. Again, that is the little tiny feature. It's called the wall cloud. Not usually something that uh, persists for too long. We love your pictures. Continue to send us to uh, send them to us. Facebook, we have a new group on Facebook called the WQW Weather Photography Group. Search that and join that. You'll see all sorts of great pictures or Twitter and email are great places uh, for that as well. But again, that's the difference between a shelf cloud and a wall cloud.